Right boys, so morning checking is done. I'm trying to sort of get my head around this pose and stuff because to be honest with you, I am shit at posing and that pose you've just seen then is pretty much the only one I can do half okay. So I'm trying to nail down my posing a bit more and get that a bit better, but that's just a little sneak peek of what we're looking like at the minute. So the time right now is 10 at 17, which is a bit of a late start for me, but it is what it is. So today we're hitting pull. So you're probably thinking you don't normally do pull, which is a bit different for me. So I've changed my workout split. So as you would have known and seen, my usual split was a bit crazy. Like not, not many people would do this sort of split. So it basically is a four day split, which consists of legs on one day, uh, back on another day, arms on another day, and then chest and shoulders on another day. And then basically just rinse and repeat that. As you'll notice from that, there's no rest days in there. So getting deep into this cut now, what are we on episode 10? I think it is. So getting pretty deep into this cut now, my strength and my overall fatigue is taking a hit. So I need more rest days. So I've changed my workout split. So the split I'm running now is going to be push, pull, rest, legs, rest. So push, pull on, sorry, push, pull off, legs off. So that's a split I've seen a number of people do. And I just feel like I need the extra rest days in there just to aid my recovery and whatnot, because right now I'm feeling depleted, I'm feeling fatigued, but I'm looking pretty good. So it's all about balance really. So today we've got pull. So it's gonna be our first pull session of the split. So we've done push, we did pull. Then obviously tomorrow will be a rest day and then we'll hit legs. So in terms of legs, it's gonna be exactly the same workout. It's gonna be the same thing. Pull is gonna be the same back day, just taking the back exercises down to four exercises and adding two biceps in. So yeah, boys, we're going to fucking smash that out today. Obviously, right now, it's going to be meal number one. Obviously, normally, I fast until about 12, but today, I'm starving. And two, I need caffeine. So usual caffeine and a meal one, and then we'll hit the gym. And it's actually sunny outside today, so we can go and get our steps in outside rather than being sat on the treadmill staring at a wall. So let's get into meal number one and caffeine, boys. So these three here is like the holy lineup. So... Obviously, as you know, my caffeine addiction is kind of crazy, so I've had to get on the decaf thing. So, first of all, I will be having one of these. So, I have one coffee to start my day off, but then after this first one, I'm swapping to decaf. So, I have about, I'd say, two to three decafs, obviously, with sweetener. So, a decaf coffee with sweetener, zero cows, and tastes amazing with no caffeine in. So I'm getting my caffeine hit from one of these plus my pre-workout before I train. And then meal number one is pretty much the same thing every single day. So we've got six eggs and then we've got two pieces of this nimble bread, which I'll show you now. So this bread right here is a staple in my house. So 50 cows, Hovis nimble bread. So we have two pieces of that, which is obviously 100 cows. And then we've got six eggs. So all together, we've got about 450 cows and about 30 35 I think, 35 grams of protein, but in terms of cows and macros, I'll put that on the screen somewhere around there. So talking to me on number one, as always boys, after I eat, I always like to get my steps in because it does help with digestion, plus it just knocks some steps off the step goal for the day. So right now the step goal is 12,000. So we're gonna eat this, go get some steps, seeing as it's sunny outside, and then we'll hit a back workout boys, and obviously some fucking arms as well. Right boys, so the steps are done. We've just been on a walk, as you can see there, and it was roughly about 11,000 steps, give or take a few. Now it's time for meal number two, and after that walk, I am literally starving. So we're gonna have meal number two, and then after that we'll head to the gym. So yeah, meal number two is coming right up. Right boys, so meal number two is prepared. So we've got obviously one scare bowl, which is 450 grams, and then we've got a cup of berries, which is mixed berries, strawberries, blueberries, and whatever these little ball things are. But yeah, calories, macros will be on the screen over there. Now this is fueling my pull workout, which we'll get into very shortly. I'm also chugging down on this destroyed bottle. So this is two liters taking us to two and a half liters for the day, which is halfway through our calories and also our water intake. So I'm gonna eat this meal now, finish up there, 
and then head down to the gym and get a sick pump. You have to want it. You have to want to be better. Obsession is going to be talent every time. You got all the talent in the world, but are you obsessed? You've got to want it as bad as you want to breathe. So you just want to be like everybody else that roams the world, not knowing the power that's in them. Being fine with being mediocre. You want to go back to who you were, huh, David? And dreams do come true. Anything you want can happen and become a reality. I believe that sincerely, and I'll die on that thought, okay? And I say that not from something I read, it's from something I lived. Most people don't want it that badly, which is why they always ask the question, man, how did you get to where you are? You know how to do it. You know exactly how to be you or how to be me. You don't want to do it. So I can't make you do it, nor do I have the time or energy to force you into that place that I know you have to be to do it. This is your new life. Take it or leave it. There's no happiness about it. There's no peace behind it. It sucks. It just fucking sucks. You want to become best. You want to become champion. And now you want to say like you're tired? Who cares? You're tired or not? Nobody cares about you. The rest of your life is going to suck. It is going to suck. Not because you're going to be a loser, but because you're going to fucking finally start to win. Lose! I don't lose! I win! I win! That's my job! That's what I do! The only way you're ever going to get to the other side of this journey is you have got to suffer. I want this shit! I want this shit! saying you can do it you can be better trying to build belief right boys so that is the pull workout done i'm just about to tuck in to meal number three which has been my go-to meal which is 250 grams of chicken breast a lime and coriander pita bread which have been banging and i've been having the entirety of last week which are unreal so i'm going to tuck into this very quickly calories and macros for this meal will be on the screen right there Right boys, just finished meal number three, went down nice and easy. So that takes us to about 1500 calories for the day, taking into account I used salad cream on that meal, which for some reason just goes really well with chicken and pita breads, you have to try it. But anyway, that's the majority of the day's food done. Obviously we've still got about 50 grams of protein, 500 calories left, but I'm going to have that in a couple of hours because it's only like half past four now. So. Probably have that about 7 o'clock or something, or lemon and lines. But that'll take us to 2,000 calories and roughly 200 grams of protein. So, I just wanted to chat very quickly because I'm thinking about doing a bodybuilding show. So, obviously in the gym that I train at, pretty much I'd say 70% of the people in there compete. Probably even a higher percentage actually when I think about it. But yeah, pretty much everyone competes. So, in the back of my, in the back of my head I've always got like, competing in my mind and I want to be on the level of them people or better than them people who are competing so so yeah I'm thinking about competing but I don't know when in my mind roughly I'm thinking 2026 I and mean, I know that's seems ages away but I'm doing this cut now till September slash October this year 2024 and I want to put some more size on so from October 2024 until the end of 2025, then I'll probably just bulk through the majority of that, which will be like, what, a 
14 month bulk, I think. Obviously, we're, we're probably a mini cut or two in there, but a 14 month phase where I would just put on mass and try and get as big as possible. What's going on, kids? So, yeah, just a 14 month gaining phase where I just try and put on as much size as possible and then do obviously a prep from the start of 2026 and compete in like early summer, so like May, maybe 2026. Obviously, this is just ideas off the top of my head. But in order to compete, I'm going to have to get a coach. So I want to get a coach ideally either halfway through, yeah, probably probably halfway through 2025 to be honest, just to take me through the, the back end of my gaining phase and then also going into the prep. So that's just something I'm also thinking about. So yeah, that's just something that's been on my mind thinking about lately. But yeah, boys, that is the video done. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, as always, like, comment, subscribe. I have got a couple of banger video ideas which are coming probably not next week but the next few weeks after that so keep your eye on them but yeah boys catch you a lot next week see you in a bit